Ancient Egyptian Royal Motifs as Referencing P. Cubensis by Nicholas B. Fela Audiobook The motif of the sacred scarab symbol, or dung beetle, is a distinctly predominating theme in ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs and amulets. The ancient Egyptians even depicted the dung beetle as a religious deity known as Capri. Its prevalence as sacred imagery has been ill-explained by past archaeologists and Egyptologists. Many historical explanations of the divinity attributed to this beetle have been based upon assumptions that the dynasties of ancient Egypt had misunderstood the biology of the beetle, and that it was this misunderstanding which led the Egyptians to keep the beetle in such high esteem. Secondary research, which was triggered by newly discovered evidence, obtained and presented by scholars such as Gordon R. Wasson, Roger Heim, Albert Hoffman, and others on the newly discovered genus of psilocybin mushrooms, offers possible explanations to more realistic motives behind ancient Egyptians' use of the sacred scarab symbol. By taking a holistic perspective on the Egyptian culture, through examining a variety of information ranging from accepted religious myths in ancient Egypt, to individual hieroglyphs, artifacts, and even monumental temple structures, as well as the historical ecology of Egypt, this paper deciphers the significance of the sacred scarab dung beetle, as well as the sacred cow, the sun disk, and the historical use of the two wheat ears symbolism with explanation of their possible encrypted reference to psilocybe. The connections made here are intended to provide information that may alter the current perspectives regarding many of ancient Egypt's most common motifs. Throughout ancient Egypt, the dung beetle, an insect of the order of Coleopetra, family of Scarabiodia, genus of Keper, and the species of Keper Egyptorium, had become one of the most common symbols represented in Egyptian iconography. Ancient Egyptians would have collectively known this dung beetle as the sacred scarab. To illustrate how popular the symbol of the beetle became in ancient Egypt, it ought to be understood that the beetle was so sanctified by the people of ancient Egypt that they endowed it as a religious figure. Keper, also known as Kepri, is not only the modern genus name of the beetle, but also the name given to the actual Egyptian deity, whom was identified symbolically by a human body with a dung beetle for his head. Scare beetles were apparently so important to the ancient Egyptian culture that their images are depicted all throughout royal tomb walls, in artwork, and in hieroglyphs. Many times they are depicted holding an orange or golden disc. Images of the sacred scarabs are not only included on paintings and engravings, but also range from simple to elaborate items, and were worn on all types of jewelry such as rings, necklaces, pectorals, and bracelets. Another popular object in Egypt that maintained this image is known as the heart scarab. Heart scarabs are small, varying in size, with some approximately 3 inches long, 2 inches wide, and about a half inch or larger in thickness. These manufactured figurines were commercially produced in ancient Egypt and closely resemble a scarab beetle with a flat base. The base contained varying engraved inscriptions. The amulets were traditionally mummified near the hearts of all deceased whom were given a proper burial, commoner and royalty alike. It was said that these amulets would assist in achieving an eternal afterlife. To exemplify the importance of this predominating insect symbol in the ancient world of Egypt, the scarab-shaped amulet with encryptions at the base also became the primary method for clay sealing documents and goods, similar to more modern wax sealing, and by circa 2000 BCE, all government officials, high and low, were appointed scarab amulets with their names and titles engraved upon the base. Some hard scarab amulets which were encrypted with the name of deceased rulers, are said to have been produced in bulk and were historically offered at funerary temples as souvenirs by the royal families. A variety of scarab amulets, no single one identical, were manufactured from practically any kind of stone available, and even the use of precious metals are seen in scarab objects. It has been said that the popularity of the scarab motif was equaled only to that of the famous Eye of Horus. From about 2200 BCE to late in Egyptian history, scarabs remained one of the most common objects manufactured in all of Egypt. 
the number of scarab items found is in the hundreds of thousands, with scarab symbolism and items located within every single excavation site across Egypt, many of which include a depiction of an orange or golden disc in the beetle's grasp or between its wings. The physical dung beetle, or scarab, is typically about 8 to 11 millimeters long, black, and has encased wings on its back, which it can expand and use for short-term, low-elevation flights at heights of about a half meter above the ground. Today we see the majority of extant beetles within the order of Coleopetra scarabida typically display one of two behavioral traits. One, rollers, which is a task of the male beetles who use their powerful spade-like forearms to collect and mold dung into a nearly perfect sphere or ball about four to five times its size, comparable to the size of an apple, which is then easily rolled to their tunnel or buried in sand. 2. Tunnelers. Believed to be the focus of female beetles, these beetles burrow tunnels often directly beneath cow dung, where they will store dung for food, nest building, and egg laying. The tunnelers start by burrowing four to eight inches deep into the ground, where they will then hollow out a chamber. The chambers are approximately four inches square, in which the beetle brings the dung and mushroom material into. Next, in the small hollowed four-inch chamber, the female uses the material from the dung and mushrooms to form a nesting ball. The nesting ball is not a perfect spherical ball like the others, which are rolled and used only as a food source, but instead, the nesting ball is pear-shaped and includes a hollow piercing at its tip. Note the shape of the Egyptian Ankh. It is at the hollow piercing of the tip in which the eggs will be placed before the chamber is then sealed off. Furthermore, once the scarab eggs hatch, the newborn pupus burrow deeper into the earth and create a second underground chamber while further developing until emerging weeks later. Interestingly, some authors have noted that there seems to be striking resemblances with the human burial sites in Egypt utilizing these tunnel chambering techniques with mummies resembling the scarab in its pupa stage. The relationship of the scarab beetle to cow dung is so intertwined that the development of the sacred scarab from egg to adult has only been documented by the use of cow dung. Furthermore, the connection to certain dung beetles and cow's dung can be seen in the controlled studies where lifespans were significantly lower for beetles who were fed foods without dung. Reproduction was also not replicable within controlled environments where dung as a food source was not made available and instead replaced by other plausibly viable substrates. A particularly notable aspect regarding the sacred scarab behavior, which was previously alluded to, is that the beetle is known to incorporate mushroom fruit bodies with the focus of mushroom cap and gill sections into both its brood and feeding sources. To further motivate these behaviors, the wet seasons are not only when the maximum dung beetle activity occurs, but also the same wet seasons are the times in which the mushroom fruit bodies are typically in most abundance as well. This notable tendency for dung beetles to feed on mushrooms and incorporate them into nesting has been recorded in several cases and has been well documented in controlled studies where, quote, abundant species were attracted to a variety of food types, but several species appeared to specialize on either dung and or mushrooms, unquote. These facts serve to illustrate that many dung beetles depend on strict use of both dung and mushrooms as the beetles' sole resources of housing and nutrition.